Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right, guys. Well, we're back to talk about it is freezing cold in here. I am so sorry, guys. Normally I do not wear a jacket. It is so cold in my office. The fan is going and I just turned it off. I was like, fuck no, fan. Calm down, sir. Um, but <laughs> We have a lot to talk about, lots to discuss. So before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you get subscribed, uh, up and Adam channel too, please, because that's where we're doing this video today. With that, I think let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to start with this. Um, This one threw me off. Thank you to tasteofreality.com. Caroline Manzo threw a pre-prison party for Tom Manzo, Thomas Manzo, at the Brownstone after Dina's husband was assaulted for a discount there. Um. Caroline Manzo looks like an asshole. Dina Canton's sister, uh, Caroline Manzo, and their family threw Tom Thomas Manzo a going away to prison party at the Brownstone despite Thomas plotting an assault on Dina's then boyfriend, now husband, to secure a discount at the Brownstone. This takes shade to a whole new level. Now, the pre prison party. The former Real Housewives in New Jersey family who started in a spinoff, Manzoed with Children, chose violence, literally. The ex-Bravo TV stars picked the brownstone of all places in the tri-state area to host Thomas's bon voyage to prison party, considering Dina's husband was assaulted at the order of Thomas for a discounted party at the brownstone. It's a real slap in the face to Dina and Dave. But seemingly, the brownstone's going away party was also a ploy to raise money, and they charged $10,000 a table at the pre-prison party. As Ramona Singer would say, the audacity. Yeah, well, New Jersey fans reacted and one said, so blood is not thicker. The next four, who needs family when they celebrate the person who hurt you? Teresa was never wrong about Caroline. She's disgusting. Let me tell you about my family. We're just thick as thieves. Just her and they said just her in-laws, apparently. Oh my God, what? $10,000 a table and a party held for someone who set up your own sister? This is disgusting. Now, in case you guys missed it, Thomas Manzo was sentenced to seven years in prison for hiring John Perna to assault Dave Canton in exchange for a discounted reception at the Brownstone per reports from NJ1015.com. The historic Brownstone is co-owned by her sister, Caroline Manzo's husband, and Caroline defended Thomas after the assault, not her sister. And Thomas was convicted in June by a jury in Newark Federal Court. U.S. Attorney Philip Selinger announced in 2015, the 59-year-old Manzo arranged for a known mobster to attack Dina's husband, Dave. Now, the hitman Perna carried out the attack on Dave at a strip mall in Passaic County in July of 2015, and Dina's new man was assaulted with a slapjack. A month later, a wedding reception was held at the Brownstone for a fraction of the normal price. But Tom Manzo, Thomas Manzo, was found guilty of committing a violent crime in aid of racketeering activity, conspiracy to commit a violent crime in aid of racketeering resulting in serious bodily injury, and falsifying and concealing documents related to a federal investigation. Oi, oi, oi. Um, this ain't a good look. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. This ain't a good look at all. This is actually really, really bad for the Manzos. Um, I'm surprised that... I'm surprised that she threw a party. Like, how dumb and silly do you want to look? Caroline Manzo looks like an asshole. Your sister. And I understand. This is supposed to be your brother-in-law or whatever the fuck he is your sister who her and her husband were attacked you are going to take this man's side what 
What? You sound and look like an asshole. I don't know. Guys, we're not done. So. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Frank Catania has postponed his November 9th wedding to his fiance, Brittany Matisic. Matisic? Matisic? Whatever it is. Just weeks before they were set to say I do on Captiva Island in Florida, the 59-year-old Real Housewives of New Jersey star has confirmed that they are unable to move forward with their nuptials due to storm damage sustained by the venue after Hurricane Helen and Hurricane Milton. Hurricane Helen first came through and brought so much sand onto the island that the pools were filled with sand and the golf course and areas where the ceremony and the reception were to be held were also damaged by water, is what Frank explained to People Magazine on October 21st. Even though there was a possibility that the venue could have possibly been repaired for our wedding on November 9th, no work commenced because Hurricane Milton was coming the following week. But after Milton hit Florida on October 9th, he and Brittany decided it was better off for us to reschedule for March 29th, 2025, which gives the resort ample time to repair the resort back to perfect condition. However, Frank, who was previously married to Dolores from 1994 to 2002, noted that it was hard telling Brittany. I held off telling Brittany for like a day after I found out because I did not want to see her reaction. So I finally told her the night after I received the news. And although saddened and disappointed, Brittany took it much better than I expected. She would much rather reschedule for another date that was not in the hurricane season and would also give the resort enough time to repair the resort back to perfect. So also, we did not want to see our family and guests be inconvenienced in any way because of the damage. We wanted it to be a happy and fun time for everyone without anxiety or worrying. Once they began looking into rescheduling their nuptials, Frank said it was much smoother than he expected. All of our vendors worked with us incredibly. They were all they were all available for the new date and allowed us to change our contract to the new date without any additional charges and inconveniences. But after Frank and Brittany got engaged in October of 2023, she celebrated her bridal shower in April and continuing on to people magazine, Frank said, Captiva Island has a very special meaning to him and his future wife. We had vacation there before because Captiva Island was my mother, Dr. Lorraine Cantina's Catania's favorite place to vacation in the world. And she passed away in 2007 and it made us spread her ashes in the water off Captiva. So it would only be appropriate for us to celebrate such a happy, joyous occasion there so that my mother could be there. And as for their wedding, Frank said that he hoped it would be like a vacation for their guests. Our intention is always for everyone to have a great and relaxed time without any stress. And we want our guests to feel like they are on vacation, having a good time. And so it just so happens that Brittany and Frank are getting married while they are there. And we are putting no pressure on our guests to be anywhere other than the ceremony and reception. And the rest of the time, they are free to enjoy themselves as they want. So during their wedding, Frank shared that his guest would be staying at three separate homes booked by him, Dolores and one of their friends. And they're all on the beach and have pools. So we hope that all of our guests just come and hang out with all of us on the beach or by the pools is what he said. But we're going to have to wait and see. Guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, with that, we'll see you next time. Love you guys.